Well, I'm mainly a painter. I'm a potter and a performance artist. I did a degree in fine art, in, which I finished in 1981. Since then, and since I left, I'd say my work has been almost completely paint-based, but in a very broad sense. So I do do paintings on canvases and paper and boards and things, but I also paint on objects and walls and bodies. I'm painting my house and I'm going to be painting the walls of the gallery we're using at Towner. I started off doing pottery at East Brunner Art College and then I went to London and did loads of performance and started the Neonaturists and then I started pottery classes again. About 10 years ago we started working together doing installation-y type of shows. And then we thought, started calling ourselves the Binny Sisters, mm. didn't we? But now we're kind of breaking away from that and mm. calling ourselves Christine and Jennifer Binny. I don't think we're really doing ourselves many favours in that department by wearing matching <laughs> part on them black outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, we're not. <laughs> we were brought up in Wanwick. And so walking on the downs and being around here is been part of our lives ever since then. Partly why I came back to live here is though I love London, I'm happier living in nature and I've always had a connection with nature and animals. I always wanted to live in the country. I think if you look back at the paintings at that time, you can see the connection, you know, to the, those paintings of the downs and horses and goats and stinging nettles. And, and still now really, I mean, it's just, very much part of everything. Being a potter, I mean, we are we are on clay at the moment, clay and chalk. So the actual thing that I make my art of is in the ground. Sort of over the years, even though I left the countryside, there's always been a bit of me left behind. And the downs, they, there's just lots of magic. The more you engage with them. This is a piece of canvas or cotton duck that we're going to use to make the tent with that's, our, that's going to be in the exhibition. And when we got it, it looked so lovely and white and clean. It just didn't look like it had anything to do with the woods. So I'm thinking of going to pick some blackberries, mix them up with a bit of water and leave the material soaking in like a black berry solution overnight and then we can see what it looks like tomorrow. See when I first put that the other piece of material down it was like this and it's only been there a month. It's pretty amazing what's happened to it in a month. Then I'm going to leave it here all night. Ah, oh, just get these flints out. I'm, I'm, my worry is it's going to be a bit too dotty. I, it's, look, it's almost gone tie-dye. I probably need to kind of give it a bit of a shape. Stand clear. <laughs> One of the things that's interesting about doing this is just starting to realise why art turns out the way it does in galleries. It's like everything has to be kind of frozen in time when it's in a gallery. It's almost like it has to be, the gallery is like a sort of fridge or something. And it has to just stay exactly the same. And, and it's like to do with the relationship with the gallery, the gallery space. It's not the individuals of the gallery or this particular, it's just the sort of what the gallery does to you when you're trying to work with natural materials. It's quite interesting. Other pieces I'm, I'm including go, actually the oldest pieces from 1983. And it's a self-portrait that I did so nearly 40 years ago. And then for me, the, the pieces I'm including go, right, that will be the oldest bit and the wall paintings will be the newest. And then everything else is from somewhere in between so sort of quite you know bits and pieces that just fit in with the themes or especially go with pieces we've chosen. I'm going to be doing these wall paintings on the 
on the town around the you know where we're having our exhibition and the wall paintings reflect our three themes um, the first one is landscape which goes along this long wall along here yeah, this is coming around the corner Should which is like this? oh yeah that's a good idea make it like a little room coming around here we're merging into the downs and then bodies shapes of the bodies are taken from this book this is one of our iconic mm. objects mm -hmm. inspiring objects with lots of different sculptures of women going right back to the first artwork ever found which was the venus of willendorf i'll be going like this doing my venus of willendorf there's a bosom <laughs> 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 and then the next section is a sort of blending of bodies of animal and human bodies so i've done some animal some horse human creatures that are mm. half and half and that's there the final third section is woods so that's just going to be trees and a full moon and that takes us it's lovely. It's going to be so nice. So I got out one of my dad's paintings. He did millions of paintings of trees and woods. <laughs> and I thought that's especially nice shaped trees. So I'm kind of copying his tree way of doing trees a little bit. So some of his paintings are going to be in the exhibition. It's quite a bit. I've unearthed some old photographs from the past taken of me in Eastbourne in my kind of punk days. They're pictures of me on Beachy Head with a beehive back in the day. When we were choosing the pictures, there was this painting that no one else could understand why I like. And it was this woman called Mrs. Lushington, and she's the wife of the Reverend Lushington. But there's just something about her hair that I really like. It somehow reminds me of this, uh, these other pictures. So hopefully, with any luck, they'll be displayed in a way that you can kind of compare the hairdos. It was funny choosing the works we were going to show because uh, we don't always feel the same about things so we had quite a few arguments oh that one no no I don't want that one you know no, no, I hate that one uh, but then there was one or two we really both loved both of our work and lives incorporate something that we have arguments about whether it's called spirituality or meaning or ritual or something else so we've got an indescribable thread of the of what is not understood in life and death in the universe. I'm hoping they will have a positive experience when they come to mm. our exhibition, perhaps feel a bit uplifted. And I hope they'll find it interesting, really. You know, there's, there's going to be a lot in there, a lot to look at about 50 paintings on each wall <laughs> and background painting and ceramic shards with interesting words so it'd be I, I hope people are able to engage with it that's what I hope people can read different things into it and that's I think what makes something really good and it'll be an exhibition where there aren't any right answers but we're hoping that they're going to come into a lovely colourful and you know maybe even healing environment that they can just let their imaginations go a bit and and enjoy